guys welcome back to my channel so today I want to show you guys what I got from Greece so this is my Louis Vuitton purchase so this is my second Louis Vuitton my first one I have up there which you can't really see it right now but this one I had to take advantage in Europe luxury items are a lot more affordable plus you get a VAT tax which I will talk about after so she I felt so bad because she took the time the um, the consultant at the store she wrapped it up really nice she put it in a box she put this cute bow in a bag and she did all of these things and unfortunately I had to leave all that back in Greece because I there's no way I could fit that with me in my luggage or take it with me on the plane it was just way too big I wish I could have kept the dough so that sucks but I at least got to keep this bag to keep it protected. So I got the Speedy 25. I'll show you guys right now what it looks like. But highly recommend that if you do plan on taking a trip to any part of Europe, save your coins and get yourself a luxury bag. Treat yourself. It's, I think from what I've seen, it's like anywhere from 20, 30, maybe even 40% off, something like that. Um, you get the VAT tax too. So take screenshots of products or purses or whatever that you want to get and then show them to the consultants because the internet does suck over there depending on your company, but don't risk that. So show them and then that way, you know, if they don't have something in stock, they can look at one of your other backups. So I got the Speedy 25. This is what it looks like. I'm so obsessed with it. It's so beautiful. I love it. This is the one with the red interior, which I'll show you guys in a second. So this is her. This is what she looks like. So, so cute. I'm so glad I went with this style, this bag. I love it. I feel like it's the perfect size for um, to carry a lot of my needs. Um, and they also sold me on this cute little scarf. She put it on for me. And it comes with this long strap too, so you can put it over the shoulder. And this is the red interior, which let me show you guys. And they also gave me, let me actually show you guys. Let me take it out really quickly. Show you guys in a second. So it is the red interior. Um, I did see a lot of people were saying to purchase a base shaper I think that's what it's called so I did buy a red one because the interior of my bag is red so this is the color this is the base um, shaper which also helps keep your bag organized and it helps keep this shape of the bag so it doesn't get all flat and flimsy or and ruin the bag eventually so it keeps all of your stuff very organized I already have a few items I don't have everything I need but I literally just got this like an hour ago from Amazon but very cute. It keeps all your stuff organized. They also gave me, let me show you guys. Where is it? Oh, it's already on the bag. So I got this. This is the little lock and key that it comes with. So I just have it in here meanwhile. So here's the cute little key that you can use to unlock the lock that they gave you. I already put the lock on the bag. I wasn't sure where to put the lock. But I just ended up putting it right here just kind of for decoration on this side. So here's the cute lock right here. Really cute. And then the key works. It unlocks it. But I absolutely love it. So this bag in Greece was like about 2,000 euros. Um, in the U.S., this bag I think was over $3,000, something like that. And then I did get, I think, like 370 USD back for the tax refund, for the VAT tax. So basically the way that the VAT tax works, um, I know you do get a return on big purchases, which of course luxury items are considered to be a part of that. So you do get the VAT tax. They'll ask you for your passport, so make sure you bring your passport with you. They'll scan it, they'll give you a big receipt, a big paper, and basically they'll explain to you that once before you come to the States, so like um, has to be on the flight before you're going to go back home. So if you're going to be flying out all over the country, um, anything like that, it has to be the flight before you come back home. So once I got back to the Athens airport in Greece, um, that's when I was about to come back home. Um, after customs, I did go to this place 
where they check the receipt and I did read that sometimes they will ask to see proof of purchase. For me, they never asked to see my bag, but the lady just basically stamped my paper and then you go to like another little window and there'll be a, um, a person there. And basically all they wanna do is see that it got stamped. Once they see that stamp, they will ask you if you want cash or um, money back on your card. From what I saw, a lot of people were saying that they were not getting their money back on their cards or they were waiting a really long time, like 10 weeks or so. And some people said they never got it. So everybody was saying, say cash. So I told them specifically that I want US dollars back. So they gave it to me immediately. So you save a lot more money, you get money back. Definitely worth it. And I'm just so happy with my purchase. It's so, so beautiful. I love it. Highly, highly recommend buying anything like that in Greece. Um, I'm going to be making a few more videos on my trip and kind of some tips like that. But if there's anything specific you want to know, leave a comment down below. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.